Bonjour and welcome to our new and very French adventure. Stay tuned for some extremely French music, some jaw-dropping French countryside, more cutlery than you've ever seen in your life, lots of French wine and cheese, some incredible French cuisine, a completely unknown French artist, a very cute truffle sniffer, some very low bridges, cycling, trains and so much more Frenchness than you could possibly absorb, all neatly served up from your very own luxury floating palace, the simply magnifique Amma Christina. Let's start at the beginning where our dreamy French adventure didn't really start very dreamy at all. Oh, good morning from Gatwick Airport. And we're here three hours before our tiny flight to Leon. Look at the queue. Just to bung your bags off. 20 minutes later and we're kind of trapped in this maze of orange ribbons. We haven't got a clue where we are in the system or how far we've got to go. But we're kind of like trapped now, so... Well, we're through. Whew. Don't know how long that took. Next long step, time. security. And next step. Well, about 50 minutes. No, oh, no. The next step is security. Which isn't so bad when, you, when we looked at it. No. The of security. Here we go. Oh, um, goodness. Yeah. Oh, the humanity. Good. At last, we're through. It only took us an hour and a half. Now for coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some coffee. But, you know, sadly, we've come to expect this when flying from the UK these days. But the gorgeous black limo picking us up to take us to the beautiful Amma Christina made us forget all about it in a flash. And soon we were on board, staring open-mouthed at this stunning entrance lobby. Suite 211 was ours for the week, but we're not going to go into detail here. We show you this and all the other suite categories in our separate video. I'll leave a link here and at the end. Pretty soon we were introduced to the cruise manager, and believe me, if there was anyone more French in style and wit than Hélène, I have yet to meet them. Next up was a more serious figure with an even more serious haircut, and that was Captain Pierre, who had sailed the Rhone for 13 years and was taking us south from Lyon to Avignon through a landscape soaked in history, culture, sunshine, and of course, wine. Lots of it. But first, dinner and a chance to sample some of Amma Waterwave's renowned cuisine. I must say, it did not disappoint as we gleefully grazed our way through Jumbo lump crab cake, boeuf charolais, that's French beef short ribs, poppy seed raspberry parfait, and some very French cheese. The Petit Fours completed a meal that confirmed to us that yes, they were right all along. Amma do food well. Very well. The thing that always fascinates me most about river cruising is the way that the crew adapt the ship to fit under some incredibly low bridges. The whole of the top deck is flattened and the clearance even after that is just inches. The captain has to time everything perfectly, especially when it comes to the height of the river and the ebb and flow of the tide. 
leave it too late and you're stuck where you are until Mother Nature decides you can go. which is day two of the uh, fabulous Rhone cruise here in Provence. Helen's polishing up on her French, <laughs> although she's being too pansy and not actually using it because she's scared. I only know about 100 words. I don't know how you expect me to use it. Anyway, let's just have a... <laughs> <laughs> let's brush over the language lessons, shall we? Um, I can say bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Come on, oh, here she goes, showing off now, isn't she? Anyway, um, we've just left Leon this morning after getting up, uh, well, I got up early. You never get up early, do you? No. I do like to get up and see the sailaways. Oh, but and seven, that's early enough. You did, you did, darling, well done. Well, you didn't actually get up at seven. You, I did. You got up at about eight. Well, no, I got up oh, You at actually seven opened your eyes at seven. And opened the curtains. Yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we got up and actually what they've done is they've folded everything flat on the top and because uh, we went under some really, really low really bridges. Low. We're now going under a low bridge by the looks of things. We are, but we went under some really low bridges out of Lyon and we're now sailing up to, what did you say? Trevol. Uh, Trevol, which sounds a bit more French. Trevol. It's not, it's not Trevox. So, <laughs> Trevox. We're it's going, Trevol. So we're going we're, north for a little bit today. Yeah. Um, and then we've been dropped in Trevol to do a wine, Beaujolais wine. Beaujolais wine version. tour. And then the ship is going to go back to Lyon and, yep. and we'll meet it back in Lyon. Um, and then we're staying in Lyon again overnight before we then start sailing south. Yep. So we're doing a little bit north and then, then sailing south after tomorrow. Yep. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to give you a little bit of scenic montage of us getting there. And then we will have the excursion. So, so. We've got early lunch today. Lunch is at 11.30 so that we're ready to go off for our tours at 12.30. So, yep. um, yeah, it's 12.30 till well, I think we get back in Leon about five. So hopefully we'll have a chance to just have a little wander around Leon when we get back for dinner tonight, which we're in the chef's table tonight. Chef's table so tonight. So we're excited nice. about that. Yeah. And, um, well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you uh, very soon. And as they say in France, Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. If you can imagine a France lifted straight from the classic French romantic novels of the 18th and 19th centuries, this little village is what you'd visualise. Winked, pronounced wa. Yes, wa. Is simply the most French place we have ever laid eyes on, and you can imagine Belle from Beauty and the Beast skipping down these immaculate little streets towards a quaint, rickety bookshop, and Gaston tumbling clumsily out from the local inn. And even the locals are a bit bonkers in a very French way. Bring your cameras, as the temptation to take pictures is too great. Ois is surrounded by the vineyards of the Beaujolais winemakers, and we stopped at a traditional family-owned estate to meet the owner and sample some of his local nectar, accompanied by some delicious cheeses on some delicious fresh baguette. Helen is very happy because she has goat's cheese and wine. <laughs> Try the goat's cheese, honey. <laughs> you can never eat a baguette gracefully. gracefully. Is that good? What is it like? Tell me the bouquet. This cheese is very goaty. Is it goaty? Nah, it's not, is it? <laughs> Do you hear that? Yes, this is what you come on a wine cruise for. 
Why else are you here? Back at the ship, Emma Waterways had left us a couple of lovely gifts on our bed. What a lovely surprise. This is a luxury line, you know. These little touches confirm that. Actually, there's so much more to cram into this vlog, I'm going to struggle giving you all the highlights, starting with pre-dinner drinks in the main lounge, accompanied by these outstanding guest musicians. Amal Waterways are not an all-inclusive line, which means you get wine and beer with your meals, but the cocktails and other drinks from the bar are extra. However, they do have an excellent daily sip and sail hour, and everything on this list is on the house. It's like a happy hour, but extra happy, because the drinks are not half price. <laughs> they are no price. Dinner tonight was in the chef's table, the fine dining speciality restaurant at the rear of the ship, and judging by the overwhelming array of silverware that could barely fit on the table, what an experience it promised to be. And guess what? It was fabulous. Surely a meal this pretty doesn't contain nasty, ugly calories, right? Nah, not at all. As we listened to some more music from that excellent trio, we reflected on the day, and we're settling into this AMA lifestyle really nicely. Probably too nicely, actually. Our preferred travel partner in the UK is Panache Cruises, the elite ocean, expedition, river and yacht style cruising specialists. The team at Panache has decades of combined knowledge and experience in finding the right cruise for you. For a completely personal service, their dedicated cruise connoisseurs will be at your side right from the initial inquiry until you get back from your dream cruise. They will help you with every aspect of your holiday, from the moment you leave your front door to the moment you arrive back home. No questions too big, no detail too small. Call them now on this number or visit their beautiful website and make your next incredible cruise a reality. Good morning. Today we're in Lyon and we're going to go for a bike ride. Yes, this is the most expensive street in Lyon, which is the street that goes alongside the park. <laughs> anyone, anyone will do, I'm sure. Not fussy. Once across the river, we parked up our bikes for a stroll through Lyon Old Town, the Renaissance district at the foot of the Fauvier Hill known as Vieux Lyon. The Vieux Lyon is the key reason for the city's UNESCO World Heritage Site status and with its colourful 16th century facades and Les Tréboules, 
Secret passages that join one street to the next through several buildings full of secret courtyards and staircase towers. After the 230 Treboules in Lyon, you can walk through 33 of them in the Old Town. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time to explore the Old Town properly, so we recommend when stopping in Lyon, get yourself over there and spend a couple of hours enjoying the museums, churches and narrow streets. As for us, well, a little saddle sore and gasping for the sip and sail hour, we headed back to the ship, where we were almost run over by a very noisy wedding cortege. Hmm, not sure that's entirely compliant with the highway code. With our ears thankfully resting from the din, we set sail for Vienne and prepared for yet another special gastronomic evening. This time at the special Chien de Rotisse dinner in the main restaurant. <laughs> La Chaine de Rotisse is an exclusive international culinary society and membership is by invitation only and is only extended to those possessing world-class culinary acumen. Did we mention earlier that Amma Waterways were renowned for their cuisine? I guess these last two nights have kind of proved that already. I can't whistle. I can't. With the evening rapidly being sucked into a black hole of irreversible Frenchness, we wondered just how this voyage could be any more French. It was by far the Frenchest thing we've ever done, and we've been to France a lot. <laughs> Yes, if you were looking for a taste of France, Amma Christina was serving it up by the finest French oak barrel load. C'est très très magnifique. That's all we have time for now, so join us for part two where we continue our wine-soaked amble down the Rhone River. Believe us, you won't want to miss what's coming next. But for now... Au revoir.